What's up you Malaysian house crows? Today, we're gonna be talking about cloak, stem, you know, the lame shit. The shit we still gotta play with. Are you kidding me? Am I playing Harry Potter right now? Is that you under that cloak? Is that you, Harry? But anyways, if you guys haven't noticed, new mic here today. Uh, but yeah, just gonna be talking briefly about uh, cloak, stem. You know, threat grenades aren't much of a deal, but uh, you know what, there's there's a bunch of things that need to get banned. I don't want to show up to the next event. And I got, I'm playing fucking Fizzerp, you know, Captain, Captain of the Virgins, Captain of the Virgin Guild, Overlord of the Virgin Clan. And I don't want to run to back snow. I'm about to, you know, I, I got the ball in my hand, right? I'm thinking about kobe it, but I want to dunk this bitch. And you know what? Guess what kills me? An automated fucking turret. Are you kidding me? We gotta play with this? We gotta play with this? Are you? Are you? Are you messing with me? Are you? Like, this game is so good. And we have to deal with this? Like, come, come on, man. Come on, man. But anyways, turrets, threat grenades, invisibility. I don't say cloak, I say invisibility. Because it sounds way more cheap, way more lame, way more abusing, way more powerful. Cloak? You know, it ain't cloak. You straight up invisible. Especially in S&D. Because, you know, they could be anywhere. But respawn cloak is only really annoying when you got people cloaking in smoke. People start using thermals with smoke grenades. Now, what you see, by the way, is a bunch of smoke grenades spammed at the middle hard point. No one knows what the hell is going on. We got people using thermal LMGs. Ricky yesterday dropped 47 against us. Ended up winning the map. They did. They won the map because of it. Because the whole entire rest of their team had 26 kills. 26. Ricky had 40 fucking 7. And, uh, yeah. Don't know why I'm complaining about thermal. It's not really much of a deal. But thermal, smoke, that stuff in comparison to uh, cloak invisibility uh stem you know it's just kind of annoying just kind of slightly annoying just just slightly okay slightly but stem stem is by far the worst thing i've ever seen you can out position how can you out position a guy outsmart a guy but because he pressed his left bumper right bumper at the critical time, he kills you. How? How is that competitive in any way, shape, or form? You can completely outplay a guy, but you he could literally pop that shit. You, like, say you're jumping over a wall at garage, right? You jump over the wall. He's in the parking lot. You're about to shoot him in the back. He's like, boop, 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 boop. Puts that shit on. Becomes fucking Iron Man. Become, he goes from a normal person to Thor. To the God of Thunder. The God of Thunder. Just like that. Just by boop, boop, boop. You can't kill me. I'm 180-ing you. I'm literally turning on you. So, stim, that's got to go for sure. Cloak, that's got to go for sure. Everything else, well, threat grenades, they're pretty, I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't even used them, to be honest with you. But threat grenades, uh, being able to see through walls, that's, that, that is kind of lame. Um... But yeah, can't really speak much about threat grenades because no one has really used them. But cloak stem that needs to go. Hover, I really don't mind it. Uh, I really just think that biolab they need to fix the the hills for biolab. So when you jump or when you hover, you're you're not in the hill. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, I think that you know people aren't really people just pros at least. If you guys haven't seen pros like complain about it much, it's because we're under the understanding that. Uh, it's like a 90% chance it won't get banned, but as of late, I think it's more of, of like a 50-50. Um, I know I need to make a post in the pro forums and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, just kind of... The fact that we have to deal with this, man, like, come, come on. Yeah, it, it makes the game more complicated, but it doesn't make it... It doesn't necessarily make it more fun to watch. And I know I've had a lot of people in the chat... Uh, actually complaining that you know this this is lame this is lame like who wants to watch this and uh you know i think that we have such a great game on our hands that 
to mess it up simply by not banning something would be a huge mistake. Not a grave mistake, but a huge mistake. Okay, people, it's not like life or death. Uh, I just think it makes the game pretty random at times. And uh, I just noticed that I usually shave that because, you know, I'm, my inner Scottish shows up. It's, it's ginger. Ginger, guys. But uh, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little vlog rant. You know, all, all we realistically, realistically here, guys, all we need is for the almighty Lord and Savior, Optic Nade Shot, to make a video saying it needs to be banned. He, he could literally make it five seconds long. It needs to be banned. We're done. We're done. I don't even need a post. I don't, my opinion, literally doesn't matter if he does that. And uh, th that's, this is obviously our, all sarcasm, sort of. Not, not really, not really at all. But uh, yeah. Anyways, that's it for the video today, guys. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully the new mic is all right. Uh, Big T might be, you know, he might be in the background in this. I'm not sure. But uh, if it is, that's this is a good-ass mic. And it's he's literally across the house. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm out.